Hello, welcome to Tala Talks NICU. My name is Allison Speed and I am a registered nurse that works in the NICU. Today we're going to be going over how to insert a nasogastric tube or an orogastric tube in the neonate. The supplies that are needed for this procedure consist of the enteral feeding tube, um, a syringe, preferably no bigger than a 10 mil syringe, and then a label so that you can mark on the tube how far it is inserted and the stethoscope to verify placement of the tube. To determine the depth of the nasogastric tube, how you measure is you take the tip of the tube, you hold it with a finger, you come to the tragus of the ear of that side, you hold it, and then you bring it down to the between the xiphoid process to the umbilicus to determine the depth. The tube should have the numbers marked on it. You hold, you see what number you're down to and you hold placement of that number. To determine the depth of an orogastric tube placement, which means you are going into the infant's mouth, you put the tip of the tube at the mouth, you hold it, you come back over to the tragus, and then you bring your depth down to the xiphoid process, and then you see what number you're at, hold the number with your other fingers so you know the depth of insertion you're going to go to. After insertion depth of the tube is determined, you will then, to perform the actual procedure, need an assistant so that they can hold the baby in midline position. Usually you'll need help holding the infant's arms down and to have their head midline sucking on a pacifier so that the tube passes easier. If you're going through the nasogastric, if it's an orogastric, you do not need a pacifier. Now that you're ready for, to perform the actual procedure, you're going to take your syringe and pull up 0.5 to 1 ml of air and you're going to place it on the end of your feeding tube so that once your feeding tube is in place, you can verify placement by auscultation. Upon insertion of the tube, you wanna look at the tube to make sure that you're going in at a downward angle and that it's not an upward angle because you don't wanna cause trauma to the infant's airway. At the downward angle, you're going to begin passing the tube and the tube should pass with ease. If it is not passing with ease and you feel like you're having to use pressure to push it, do not continue. Once you get to the predetermined depth, you'll stop inserting the tube and you're going to hold the tube firmly in place so that you can check for placement via auscultation with your stethoscope by pushing the air that you previously pulled up into the tube. To verify place with auscultation, you'll put your stethoscope over the infant's stomach and you will quickly push in the amount of air that you put into the syringe as so, and you should hear a whoosh sound. If you do not hear a whoosh sound, that means that the feeding tube is not in the stomach. After placement is verified via auscultation, you will then secure the feeding tube to the infant's cheek, depending on which side you use, or you'll secure it to the chin if you're using it as an orogastric tube. After securement is made of the tube, you will then take the info tag that usually comes with the tube to verify placement date, placement depth, and French size and put it on the tube. That concludes the NGOG placement procedure. Please subscribe or like our channel and ask questions below. Thank you.